All right, welcome back. It's time to get your phones out, everyone. Open up your camera. We have a QR code coming your way. Today on Design Time with Tri-City Furniture, you can scan the code right on your screen as you watch to get linked directly to more information about today's topic. Let's check it out. Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for our favorite segment, Design Time. We are here at Tri-City Furniture in Auburn with Kathy Kilborn. Thank you, Kathy, for having us. Thank you. We're talking about dining room tables, right? Dining yes. tables. Okay, dining. so dining tables. Tell us, Kathy, there's so many options. I think you have them all here. But how do we start the selection process? Well, the important thing first is to know how big a space that you have to put the table in because an eight by eight space is not going to use a very large set as compared to maybe a 12 by 15. So if you're going to look for a table set, make sure you bring your wall to wall spaces mm. so that we could help you know exactly what's going to fit in there. Okay, so we start with that. So what's next after space? After that, it's really about some of the style in dining rooms today. And again, I have American made, so we have a lot of variables. But you can change the shape. On this particular table, it kind of bows in on the ends. And you can get two, three, four leaves in it, so it can be narrow and small. It can open up large. So it allows for maybe a narrow room where you might always be walking around. You want to bump into that corner. Right. So so the variables that we offer are to make it better for you in the use. Mm. This has a, a squared off edge, which is rounded, but this one has a beveled edge. So if you're a person who sits and plays games at your table, this beveled edge is really nice because yes. you lean your arms on there and it doesn't make a like a mark in your arm. It's very, very relaxing. So again, details are all about how you use the particular space and how many people you want to set so that all comes together with the decisions when you're choosing the right pieces. Okay, so what are the advantages of having different table shapes? Well, again, walking by it, making it larger, making it smaller, yeah. not having points, um, depending on what you want to do as far as amount of people sitting at it, mm. because a squared off corner will give you an extra seat. When you round off the corner, you're going to lose some table space. So again, the shape has to do with the use and the space that you're putting it in. Great, all you need to know about table shapes. That's very interesting. Thank you, Kathy, for having us. Anything else? Yes, one Anything other thing I yeah. just talk about here is this table is a pedestal. Okay. As compared to the one I'm standing by is a leg. And if you use the table to stand up and you push on the table, you're definitely going to want to buy a leg table because the leg support is right at the end. Mm. When you push down on the table, it's very stable. A pedestal table is always going to be in the center. And if you extend it, the, the, the support system is further away from the edge. And it's very easy to have a tippy table because if you're pushing down on it and the legs far away from it, it can have that movement. So keep in mind, those are parts that we watch when you get up or when, yeah. you know, when you're sitting. We notice and we help you to understand why one would be better for you than the other. You give us some things to think about when we come in and talk with you. Yes, okay. it's really important. Yeah. Yeah. Sit, talk, comfort, and then how it's used. Great. Thank you. Great thank tips. You. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching this edition of Design Time.